time is uh, is equivalent to what she's used to in that short cord meter, short course meter pool. Uh, and oh, it says boys, but this is the ladies. 11, 12, 500 freestyle in lane number one. Lisa Shashkova. Lane two, McKenna Meyer. Lane three, Natalie Ward. Lane four, your preliminary leader, Sophia Sarukian. Lane five, Courtney McKinnon. Lane six, Shanoa Devine. Lane seven, Taylor Newton. And in lane eight at the top of your screens, Constance Mosley. And speaking of those meter times that we were just discussing for Sophia, is if you look in the program, she was entered in short course meters time. So she was, she was entered as the slowest time in all of her events. So that means in the mornings, she was swimming pretty much by herself in those beginning heats. Yeah, it's a different world here when she's got girls right next to her as she does on this first hundred. Sorokian in that white cap in lane number four, right above her in lane number five is Courtney McKinnon, who we've seen throughout the meet as one of the uh, standouts in these finals in the freestyle events particularly. Taking it out with a great start, Sophia Sorokian in four, 56-8, followed by a couple 57, 58s across the board. But a great start off for there for Sarukian. She was a 506 this morning talking about talking about times that trying to get under. Five minutes is usually the this this the first standard you reach for the five hundred, getting around that five minute mark and breaking under. So five oh six this morning, she's definitely on pace to be around, if not under, if she maintains. And you gotta keep in mind we're talking about these barriers that a lot of times, 15 and 16 year olds are trying to break through. Sophia, just 12 years of old, 12 years of age. So getting under five minutes would be quite the feat here tonight. The 11 and 12 year olds, by far, I would say, are the age group here at the Far Westerns that have impressed me the most. We've seen record breaking swims in all the different age groups, but these 11 and 12 year olds, you forget that they're 11 and 12 based off of their technique. They're, the times that they're swimming, how easy they're making these swims look, that it's easy to forget that they are just only 11 and 12. Yeah, if you think about it, for most of these 11 and 12-year-olds, this is their meet. This is the one they've got circled on their calendar, the peak meet, whereas you start getting up there in the age groups, swimmers have sectional cuts and junior national cuts or even national cuts for some of these swimmers. But at the 11 and 12 age group, Far Westerns is the end all be all for the most part. I mean, some of them have some sectional cuts. I talked to Maxime Rooney earlier today in an interview and he said that that's his new goal, but Far Westerns is as big as it gets for an 11, 12 year old. Well, Sophia is great and on pace right now. She was a 227 at the halfway mark. So as long as she sticks with these double O's that she looks to be holding, she is going to be under the five minute barrier. She's about 10 yards ahead of the field at this point. 258.25 for Sophia with 200 yards left to go. She doesn't look like she's fading, so she is on pace to be right around that mark. Close race for second going on in lanes three, five, and eight up at the top. That's Tucson Ford dealer, Natalie Ward in three, Courtney McKinnon in five, and Constance Mosley up there in the top of your screen. All the girls flipping simultaneously going into this 350 mark. Sophia Sarukian keeping that kick right behind her. As opposed to the kick right in front of her? Um, yeah. She's definitely got a powerful <laughs> 6B kick working here, even on the back half, which I think is what you meant there. And you're right. It's, it's something that you can't just turn on here at the meet in a 500 freestyle. So it's something that stands out on the back end of these 500 freestyles in Sarukian. Working, looking like a motorboat back there behind her here as she powers through the 400 mark. She doesn't appear to be fading, but her split fell just off right there on that 100. 40031. So if she wants to be under this five minute mark, she's going to need to pick it up just slightly, preparing for the bells back there. Great race for a second going on. Keep your eye up there at the top of your screen. That's Constance Mosley showing some outside smoke. Constance was a 522 this morning and she is on pace to be well under that mark. Sophia showing a little bit more white water on this lap. She has just over 50 yards left to go. She's going to flip at a 431.9. So she's going to be just over five minutes here. Nonetheless, a great swim from her 506 this morning. Sometimes swimmers can reach down and put together a powerful final 50. It would take something pretty special here on the tail end of a 500 to get back under that five minute mark, but she's gonna be well below 
her 506 from this morning to say the least her te her technique looking still great right now she looks strong she's gonna be just over five minutes Sophia Sarukian, 501.93. Coming in for second, very close race, but to get her hand on the wall first is going to be Courtney McKinnon with a great touch, 507.41, just out touching Constance Mosley in eight with a 507.56. Great swim for Constance Mosley up there in the top of your screen with a considerable time drop from her prelims. 